Warning, if you do not enjoy watching vermin being controlled in a humane manner, please switch off now. You have been warned. If you like watching these and similar videos and are interested in red squirrel conservation, then please join UK and Island Squirrels the Grey Area Group on Facebook. Thank you. This was the original hive that I had set up on my first permission in a large garden with wooded area attached. I set it up using tree stakes, clothes props, weed membrane and camo netting. Sadly, during the snow over Christmas, this is what happened. Totally wrecked. As this has been productive permission, I decided to do a total rebuild. I used thicker tree stakes for the corners and added 6 inch fence boards for extra stability. Next, I covered the whole of the outside in black weed membrane. Following that, I recovered the outside with camo netting, then added 6 inch fence boards for the roof. After that, I covered the roof with black plastic sheeting and then finished this off with camouflage tarp. As I sometimes spend 5 or 6 hours in here, it's now nice and dry and does the job. And with the drop down flap at the front, I've got a good view of both the feeders. When I'm done, I just clip up the flap again and saw it. This is the view of the feeders, complete with trail cams and practice targets. Sometimes the greys have a tendency to climb on. This was my first session in the new hide, and I hadn't even got my rifle ready when the first grey appeared. But he hung around long enough till I was sorted. Fatal mistake, Squig. Five minutes later, up tip number two. Less than 15 minutes later, and here's number three. Seems like it's going to be a busy period that I was hoping for. This one was the last of the session, and it was a weird one. After I pulled the trigger, you can see it run down the tree, and at this point I thought I'd missed it. But if you look at the bottom, it drops down stone dead. When I checked it, there was no entry wound at all in the skull. The pellet must have pushed the skull into the brain. This one's from a different permission. I had my rifle balanced on my trigger sticks in one hand while trying to put my cup of soup down with the other, hence why it's a little shaky. This was from a pop up hide. This one was taken on a very cold, snowy morning. For some reason, over the last few weeks, the greys haven't been hitting the fears very hard. This is a new feeder on an existing permission I've got. I had to move the other feeder because it was really close to a neighbouring farmer's land. So this is the new setup. You can see to the left, 
there's a GoPro and then as the camera turns round you can see in the distance where I've been sitting I haven't got a hide built yet and at the moment all I've been doing is sitting against a tree covered by some camo netting worked pretty well the first day this is the first one I shot on this new feeder you'd actually see it lying on the ground in the previous clip it did take a while to come down from the tree it was a little bit skittish but I just took my time Use a little bit of patience and it sat nicely for us. Now this is the same shot taken from the GoPro angle. If you look along the right hand side you can see where I'm sitting against the tree. When I put the GoPro up with the red and blue lights on I thought I might spook them but they don't seem to be bothered about it. This is the second one of the morning. When it jumps off, it actually jumps against the clothes prop that I've got stuck in the ground for the GoPro. This is the GoPro footage from the side. I know squirrels are meant to be gymnastic, but not when they've been shot through the head. Just need to sit and have a little bit of patience with this one. You can normally tell when they're going to move because they'll just drop the front paw slightly. Then after that you can take your shot if you've got the time. No gymnastics from this one, you just rolled over off the feeder. If you look top centre you can see a grey coming down the tree. This is the one that comes onto the feeder. It doesn't even look at me on the right hand side, it doesn't even know I'm there. It was originally about 8 minutes long this, this clip, but I've edited it down to just over a minute. This is the last clip on this video. It was taken on a different perm and two greys turned up at the same time and as you'll see I managed to get them both. Although I originally thought the second one would scatter but it didn't seem fussed seeing its mate in a heap in front of it.
after I shot this second one, it does dance about quite a bit, but it doesn't take long to expire. If you enjoyed this video then please don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell to get notifications of forthcoming videos.